Today we're going to talk about the MIO series of intelligent I.O. modules for FLIR cameras, developed by MovieTherm in California. This particular unit provides connectivity for up to seven FLIR cameras. The unit offers eight digital output channels which can be used for alarms or switching functions. In addition, there are eight 4 to 20 milliamp analog outputs for temperature displays, data loggers, or loop controllers. The camera network is connected through the Ethernet connection at the top of the unit, and power is connected here. Any standard 12 or 24 volt DC power supply will work with the MIO. MovieTherm also offers a one camera model. This unit comes with two digital outputs and two analog outputs. For this video, we're going to use the seven camera MIO in this MovieTherm MIO system demonstration unit. The MIO system demo unit contains all the components needed to power the MIO, display temperatures, and indicate alarm conditions. We will also use a FLIR AX8 camera for the video, so let's start by configuring the camera. The IP address for the camera is 192.168.1.111, so we will type that address into the browser's address bar and log into the AX8 camera. Here's a live thermal image from the camera. We're going to put some hot water into this cup and watch the temperature change. Let's set up a region of interest so we can display and track the temperature changes. We click on this box icon create the box, and then we can drag the edges of the box to define the edges of our region. Notice the maximum temperature in the region is currently around 26.7 degrees Celsius. Okay, now we're done with the camera, let's head over to the Mio and set up an alarm. The Mio's IP address is 192.168.1.2. So let's open up a browser page and log in. First, we can confirm here that we're connected to the MIO AX8 demo system. Next, we can make sure the MIO is connected to the camera. Let's go ahead and give the camera a name. This could be useful when you have more than one camera connected. Before moving on, we can save this configuration. This makes sure that the name will remain associated with the camera after a system restart. Okay, now we're ready to set up the alarm. The script commands page is used to configure the MIO I.O. functions. The eight analog and eight digital output channels are arranged vertically from top to bottom on the left side of the screen. First, we will set the analog channels. To set up analog channel zero, we select camera one from the camera menu. Next, we need to set up a command. We want to track the internal camera temperature in the upper LED display on the MIO system panel, so let's select internal camera temperature from the pull down menu. Since this is an analog display, we need to define the 4 to 20 milliamp mapping for the display. We will set the analog output mode to linear output and enter the low and high temperature limits for the 4 to 20 milliamp scaling. Here we will set the lower limit to zero and the high limit to 100 degrees Celsius. Next we want to map the cup temperature to the lower LED temperature display on the front panel. Again we select camera one. In this case we choose the box max temperature command to map the maximum temperature from the box region to the lower LED display on the MIO system panel. Again, we will select the linear output mode and set the scaling from 0 degrees C to 100 degrees C. We also want to set a digital output to illuminate a front panel indicator when the temperature goes above our alarm limit. We start by assigning camera 1 to digital channel 0. Under region of interest, we again select ROI1 to map the previously defined box region. We finish up by setting the threshold temperature to 45 degrees Celsius. We have now mapped the internal camera temperature display to the upper analog display and the box maximum temperature to the lower analog display. The top alarm lamp is set to light up when the box maximum climbs above 45 degrees Celsius. The last step is to save the configuration to make it active. Click Save Configuration. Now we can go back to the live camera image and see if we can trigger the alarm. Okay, so we have set up a monitoring region in the camera and configured the upper analog indicator to display the internal camera temperature. The lower analog indicator shows maximum temperature in the region we've defined, or in this case, the temperature of the cup. What we're going to do next is we're going to pour some hot water into this cup and watch what happens to the indicators on the demo panel. Keep in mind we've set the alarm to 45 degrees C. As you can see, the temperature in the lower indicator is climbing as the cup heats up. 
and there's the alarm, when the temperature goes above 45 degrees C. That's all you need to do to set up a Mio monitoring system. The MovieTherm Mio supports FLIR FC Series R cameras, FLIR AX8, and FLIR A310 and A310F models. Mio modules come in seven camera configurations and single camera models. Multiple Mio units can be combined as needed for larger multi-camera installations. For more information, visit us online at www.movietherm.com.